everybody. Well, oh my gosh. <clears throat> Everybody, it's Kristen here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys a book haul and I'm so excited for it. This is all of the Christmas books that I got. Some books I acquired over the holiday season and it's so exciting. There's such awesome books in here. Without further ado, let's just get into this haul. So I'm gonna start off with some books that I went shopping at my local Valley Village. And um, if you're not from Canada, basically Valley Village is a second-hand store where you can get clothes, shoes, purses, and most importantly, books. I got myself some books from here, and there were three that I got, and I can't believe I found them because I'm so excited about it. The first book I got is Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. If you don't know, I'm a Brandon Sanderson fan for sure. He writes some amazing fantasy. This was his debut novel, I think, and it's just a standalone fantasy but Kelsey over at Hardback Haven, she read this last year and she loved it. Ever since she said that, I was like, yeah, I need to get it and need to read it. So yeah, so glad I found this one secondhand. I don't really know what the story is about. It is fantasy and that's all I need to know. The next book that I found, which I am so excited about, is The Passage by Justin Cronin. I can't remember which book, it, which book haul it was, but but I got also from the same Valley Village, um, The Twelve by Justin Cronin. And, oh no wait, this was a library book sale book. So I got this one and someone told me um, in the comments that this was kind of book number two. Um, at, where it's set, you know, really far in the future from where this story took place. And I was like, dang it, I thought it was just a book by itself. But then I found this one recently and I'm so excited. So basically this story... Um, or these books are set in a post-apocalyptic world and I believe there's like a disease or something that comes into our world. This is just a story about survival and post-apocalyptic setting and it's just supposed to be really exciting and everything. So I'm super excited for this and kind of went backwards, got this one and then this one, but that's okay. I now have them both. Whenever I'm in the mood to dive into, you know, a big epic book, I will definitely pick it up. These books are not standing up on their own, people. Okay, sip of coffee to give me energy. No! Okay, that's gonna have to do. And then the next book I got, which I can't believe I found and I'm so excited about, that is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I've had my eye on this book for so long and I've never been able to find it. I kept debating just getting it brand new from somewhere but I just could never justify it and it just never happened. I finally found it. This was like a couple bucks and I'm so excited. It is a big chunker of a fantasy book and I got the uh, mass market paperback version which is nice because then it's not heavy and I can carry it around. To be honest, I'm kind of had a little bit too much fantasy which I never thought I'd say. <laughs> I've had too much big books lately and so I don't know if I'll pick this up like right away but I want to pick this up so quickly. So I'm so excited for it. And this is, I keep running my fingers through it. Anyone who's a fantasy lover keeps suggesting that book. And I'm like, I will get it one day, I know. And today was the day, or rather somewhere in December 26, 20, oh, my years are so messed up. Somewhere in 2017, I got that book. Moving on. So some Christmas gifts I got for my family obviously were books. And I went on Book Outlet and there was this great deal. So I got some books for them. And then I also got some books for myself. Because I know that I need a few books in series. And I found them on sale. And I was like... The first book I have is Lyriel by Garth Nix. This is book two in the Sabriel series. I didn't realize one day that I... Don't fall... Uh, then I got a Porson, and this is book three. And then when I realized that, I was like, oh my gosh. That's the one thing about fantasy series that can be really frustrating, is when you don't know what number the book is in the series, because they don't, like, they're all, I don't, it just is frustrating. Why can't every series be labeled one, two, three, four on the book? Like, why do it just, mm, yeah. Um, I got book number two, yet another fantasy, so I'm excited about it. This is like a classic fantasy series, it's older, but I, you know, I had to have it, like just, 
Logic. And then the other book that I got from Book Outlet is The Mark of Athena. This is book three in the Heroes of Olympus by Rick Riordan. So excited about this. In this series, I have books one, two, and four five I believe so I needed three and four so I'm slowly acquiring the rest of the series I have read the Percy Jackson series and loved it it's so fun and so I want to try this series um and I know people who are Rick Riordan fans and read all of his books love all of his books which obviously this series I don't think will let me down I'm really excited for it I um, mean they're actually pretty big books for like a teen fiction or um preteen or whatever it's actually quite big but i guess it's kind of big rating so whatever i got it and in hardback so woo! -hoo. so now some books that i got for christmas which i'm really excited about uh the first one is the boston girl by anita demont i have read the red tent by her and loved it and then everybody else who's read another book by her loved it. This one has been going around booktube and I'm so excited to have it now. This is a historical fiction um, set I think in World War II um, in America. What I love so much about Anita Diamant's writing and how she tells stories is she just gives all the power to the women. She tells women's stories beautifully and it's so engaging. So I'm really excited about this one. Everyone who I've talked to who has read The Boston Girl loved it. So I'm excited for it. The next book I got, I am so excited about because I I think it's nonfiction, but it's someone's story. So it's like a biography. This is uh, Denial, Holocaust History on Trial by Deborah E. Lipstadt. And I don't know if you've ever heard of this. I had never heard that this was um, happening in the 90s. There was a man named David Irving, I believe. And he believed that the Holocaust never happened. And he was basically speaking about it, saying it never existed. A concentration camps never existed. There was this woman who is Deborah Lipstadt, um, basically was saying, you're an idiot. The Holocaust did happen and it was a horrible moment in our history. And so um, they went to trial on that argument. I didn't know it was a movie either and I just am so excited about it. There's pictures in here too I believe. Yeah there's pictures in here too about the story and I just feel like this is going to be such a powerful book. Oh! Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh no! My life is falling apart. The next book I got is Mom and Me and Mom by Maya Angelou. I'm sure everyone has heard of Maya Angelou as an author. Uh, she's written books and poetry. And this is her, uh, her story about her relationship with her mom. It wasn't a great relationship, but she ties it all together in the end. And I think that's so beautiful that even though you haven't had, you know, a perfect relationship with someone that you can still write a, write about it and make such an impact in other people's relationships. This could possibly actually be the Mother's Day challenge book. Really excited about this one. Another book that I got which is um, some really good historical fiction. I'm filling up all my historical fiction. The next book I got is Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetys. This is a historical fiction set around a boat that went down. This book is set in World War II. Basically some refugees are trying to flee um, and they're on a boat and then a disaster occurs on the boat and um, so it's kind of a really sad story but I've heard such good about this book. I haven't read any Ruta Sepetys. I do own Between Shades of Grey and I want to get to that one but I also want to get to this one and I want to get to all the books in the world but I can't. Too many books, so little time. The next book I got, which is actually a book I won through a booktube giveaway, and the person who was doing the giveaway was Kathleen from Worth a Thousand Words. And she is an awesome booktuber. If you um, don't follow her, I will put her channel in the description box below so you can go check her out. So like I said, she hosted the giveaway and I'm on that giveaway. So the book I chose for that giveaway was The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. And this is such a celebratory moment for me, guys, because I found Mistborn um, sometime last year. Uh, it was used, and it was only just Mistborn, the first book. I was so excited about it because if there ever is a more hyped fantasy series on BookTube, it is the Mistborn trilogy. I found that one, and I read it, and I didn't have book two. And then um, I went shopping with a friend one day, and I found book two, which is The Well of Ascension. 
And then I read that one right away and I didn't have book three. I kept my eyes out for it and I was going to consider buying it when I was really craving to read it. But then I won a giveaway and so I got the Hero of Ages um, in the same version as all of them and my life is complete now. I am so happy that I finally have this book and I will be reading this very, very soon. So that is that. You can't the last three books that I'm going to talk about are books that I got um, in my page habit unboxings. Um, so if you never watched those, then these will be new books to you. And if you did watch it, then you can see how excited I was to do my first ever unboxings. And it was so fun. So let's get to those books. So there's three of them. And the first book I will show is A Plague of Giants by Kevin Hearn. This is a adult fantasy uh, series. This is the first book in it. There was a letter sent in the uh, Page Habit box where the author explained what his um, desire was when he wrote this book. Um, and it's really interesting because I forget all the things he wrote, but one of the things he said was there's not enough, or he felt like there wasn't a lot of fantasy series that had tons of point of views or POVs. And so he wanted to write a book with lots of POVs. And I think this book has 11. And so that's interesting. Um, I do like multiple perspectives in books. So I think I will enjoy this. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get to it and give my thoughts on it because it is a newer release. I don't tend to get a lot of new releases, so this is exciting for me. I feel like I'm a part of the cool kid group. <laughs> Kidding. There are no cool kids on booktube. We're all cool because we all love books, right? Right? The next book I got in that same, uh, Page Habit box is The Beast is an Animal by Petronelle Van Arstel, and this is a darker fantasy. Don't know if it's young adult or if it's um, adult fantasy, not quite sure. Um, but this one looks really good because it is really dark. There's a beast and he scares everybody, eats it, and it eats people, I think. <laughs> I love myself some really good dark fantasy. And so I'm really excited about this one. And this one is like a really beautiful cover as well. And it's like that soft, buttery feeling. Ah! And then the last book I'm going to show, which I'm actually really, really excited about. And that is The City of Brass by uh, S.A. Chakraborty. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> and I love the cover of this book, guys. I've said this before, but I think it's so beautiful because it's so gold and it just is beautiful. This is set in uh, Cairo, Egypt. It's a fantasy series, but it is set in our world. It's all about magic and warriors and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm really excited about this one. Don't know much about it, um, but a lot of people have said that this is on their TBR and they're excited for it. Got a nice new fantasy book that is beautiful. So that is all the books I got within the past couple months and over the Christmas season. And I am so happy, so excited because I got whack load of really big fantasy books. I got some really good historical fiction and I got some good like non-fiction and I just got a range of things and I'm so excited about it. So yes, if you have read any of these books or any of these books are on your TBR or you just want to talk about any of the books and you didn't know anything about it, then we can totally talk about all the books. Meet me in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching guys. Give this video a big thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!